All right, I know that title seems super, super clickbaity, but I kid you not, there is an app on my phone that is allowing me to edit and film at this same time. It's basically magic. It's called Switch Take. It was developed by my friend William Justice, super, super smart dude. He has a great YouTube channel about DaVinci Resolve. I'll link it everywhere that I can. Uh, also, I'll link the Switch Take YouTube channel, which has some great tutorials and will get you up and running. We're gonna do a quick run through today, but it's, if you want the in-depth stuff, go there. Now, quick little teeny tiny itty bitty bit of disclosure. This video is not sponsored by Switch Take. It's not sponsored by William Justice. In fact, William offered me a promo code so I could try out Switch Take Pro for free for a few months. But in the 24 hours it took for him to send me that code, I got super excited and I just ended up paying for it. So I bought this app with my own money. I do have the Pro app. It's super affordable and they're running a special, which we're gonna go over later. But for now, uh, let's just let's just dive into the app. So the concept for Switch Take is actually really simple. You just start a new session in the app at the same time that you're recording a video. And as you're recording, if you're doing long take stuff like talking head videos or long interviews, stuff like that. If you do a take that you really like, you swipe up on the app and it'll keep that take. If you don't like the take, then you can swipe down and it'll get rid of that take. You can also add markers, add markers and keep the take and even add clips to a gag reel. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this app. So I've got my trusty little Canon SL2 here. We're gonna do a little demo recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then we'll get started. All right, so the camera is set up and ready to go. Next thing we need to do is open up the Switch Take app. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And here's the Switch Take app, super, super simple. Now this sync code down here at the bottom is really, really important. You need to make sure that you keep an eye on that because what you're gonna do is put that code into the desktop app and that's what's gonna allow the Switch Take mobile app and the desktop app to sync so you can get your timelines and all that stuff. So make sure you keep an eye on that code. It's never gonna change once you've downloaded the app, but just make sure that you have that handy for the first time that you open it up on your computer. All right, let's go ahead and start a new recording and we're gonna call this Switch Take Review Test. And then next thing we're gonna do is hit start. Now when we hit start, it's gonna count down from five to zero. And then when you hit zero, you wanna start recording on your camera. And then from there on, if you wanna keep the take, then you swipe up. If you wanna get rid of it, you swipe down. If you wanna add a marker, you swipe to the right. If you wanna keep the take and add a marker, then you swipe up and to the right. And if you wanna add it to a gag reel, you swipe down and to the left. And then if you wanna just pause the recording, you swipe to the left. That sounds confusing. For now, let's just stick with up and down. Keep it or get rid of it, all right? So let's go ahead and hit start. This is a take I want to keep. And this is a take I want to get rid of. And if the app works correctly and I do everything right, as opposed to the app not working correctly and me doing everything wrong, which has happened, then only the clips with my thumbs up will remain and all of the clips with the thumbs down will be gone. So, how did we do? And when you're all done with your recording, you just need to bring your media into your computer, get it into whatever folder you need it in. I've already done that, so the next step is to open up the Switch Take app. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you're opening up the app for the first time, you'll see this section right here where it says sync code. Now, if you remember when we went into our app, you will see a little sync code down at the bottom. You wanna put that same code in the desktop app and that's gonna allow them to communicate with each other so you can generate all of your timelines. So that's the first thing you wanna do. Then you just come over here and you hit select media folder. 
From there, you navigate into the folder where your file is being held and you click on it and you go ahead and hit select file. All right, Switch Take has brought the file into the app. It's assigned our Switch Take review test timeline to that file automatically. If that's not correct, you can choose from other timelines that you've created in the mobile app right here. But this is the right one, so we're gonna keep that. Next thing we wanna do is choose the program that we're going to be editing in. Right now, it's only available for Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut. But if you have another NLE that supports XML timeline imports, it should work there as well but don't quote me on that. It's just been my experience with other products. Our next thing we wanna do is choose our timeline resolution and frame rate. So let's go ahead and click these three dots here. We're going to keep it at HD, but you also have the option for 4K, 6K, and 8K timelines. You can also create custom resolutions if that's what you wanna do. Video frame rate, we're gonna keep as match clip because that's gonna make your timeline frame rate match whatever the frame rate of your file is. So that's all looking good right there. We're gonna hit update settings. Now cut silence is pretty cool. This will actually detect silence in your clips and cut it out. And all you have to do for that is check this box and hit these three dots and you can set your different parameters like your silence length, your minimum decibel level, the cut spacing, all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update settings. And then we have the way that it's going to cut our file. So basically there's two different ways you can do this. There's cut clip and then cut clip and sync. And the difference between these two is very, very important. Cut clip is basically going to remove all the takes that you don't want and take all of the takes that you do want and it's just gonna butt them up together. It's gonna delete all the gaps. Now cut clip and sync is made for people who have screen recordings or other video files that you need to layer on top of. Basically, it's gonna cut out all of the takes that you don't want, but it's gonna keep the spacing between the takes that you do want. That way it's super easy to sync via waveform in Premiere or DaVinci or Final Cut. We're gonna keep it as cut clip because we don't have anything else that we're syncing here. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit create sequences. All right, it says you're ready to go. Open your editor, import your sequences and start editing. So let's go ahead and close out of the Switch Take app and open up DaVinci Resolve. We're going to start a new untitled project here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we're going to keep the project settings basically the same, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. We're not going to do anything special here. So we'll go ahead and just hit cancel there. Move on to the edit page. And over here in the media pool, we're going to right click, go to timelines, import AAF EDL XML DRT. And we're gonna go into the folder where our timeline is right here. And we're gonna hit open and it's gonna give us all the parameters for our timeline. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay. So I did my silence cut, but it didn't cut out all the silence. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of those. Let's pop on our headphones and take a listen. And then we can just delete that. Go back home and play. This is a take I want to keep. And if the app works correctly and I do everything right, then only the clips with my thumbs up will remain. So how did we do? Now, let me, let me tell you why I love this app. Simply speaking, time. This saves me so much time. I'm often recording for 45 minutes to what will eventually amount to maybe a 10 minute video. And doing this and being able to cut out the bad takes as I go along saves me an incredible amount of time. It's, it's just even with those basic, basic features, this thing is 100% worth 
the money. Like legit, I've been using this now for I guess a month, maybe a little bit more, and I've used it on every single video that I have made and it's saved me so much time. It's so easy to use. It takes a little bit of getting used to like doing the swipe up and swipe down and setting markers and stuff like that. It, it does take a little bit to get used to it, but once you start remembering to swipe in the right places, it just, it just cuts so much tedious work out of your edit. So like I said, there is a huge deal going on right now. The link in the description is going to take you to a page that will give you a promo code either for the Apple App Store or the Android App Store. You just need to choose which one. And if you use that code, it gives you instructions on how to use the code. But if you use that code, you will get one month free and then 50% off of your subscription for the entire first year. So normally the pro version of this app costs $9.99 a month. But if you use that link, you're gonna be getting a month free and then $4.99 a month after that for the entire first year. That is an incredible deal. Now there is a free version, but you do lose the cut silence feature and all that stuff. You do lose a lot of the extra special features and there's more features on the way. I'm in constant contact with Bill. He's always letting me know the things that he's working on. I'm super excited to see where this thing goes. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, William, for allowing me to test out this app. I'm super excited to be using it. Super excited to see where it goes. You've, you've struck gold here, my friend. I'll make sure to link William's channel in the description of this video. Make sure you check him out and watch his content and try out his app because it's absolutely amazing. And in the meantime, if you wanna see another cool tool that I use all the time, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.